through Psalms 1 to 5 this week and yesterday we read Psalm 4 which um, may be known to some of us as an evening prayer. Uh, the psalmist is in turmoil uh, throughout the psalm but by the end of the psalm he's able to sleep in peace knowing that he's safe with his God. Today as we move into Psalm 5 uh, well this is a morning prayer. Again it's another psalm of David. David the king approaches the Lord God king of heaven and earth at the start of the day. Spurgeon uh, says prayer should be the key of the day and the lock of the night, the key of the day and the lock of the night. And I suppose what he was saying is that the best way to start and to end our day is in prayer. I think David would agree with him. As we spend time in these Psalms, perhaps it's time for us to reflect on our prayer life. What can we learn from David's approach? Well, let's read Psalm 5 together. Listen to my words, Lord. Consider my lament. Hear my cry for help, my King and my God. For to you I pray. In the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my requests before you. and Wait expectantly. For you are not a God who is pleased with wickedness. With you, evil people are not welcome. The arrogant cannot stand in your presence. You hate all who do wrong. You destroy those who tell lies, the bloodthirsty and deceitful. You, Lord, detest. But I, by your great love, can come into your house. In reverence, I bow down towards your holy temple. Lead me, Lord, in your righteousness. Because of my enemies, make your ways straight before me. Not a word from their mouth can be trusted. Their heart is full of malice. Their throat is an open grave. With the tongues, their tongues, they tell lies. Declare them guilty, O God. Let their intrigues be their downfall. Banish them for their many sins, for they have rebelled against you. But let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them sing for joy. Spread your protection over them, that those who love you, your name, may rejoice in you. Surely, Lord, you bless the righteous. You surround them with your favour as with a shield. Well, David again is in trouble. <laughs> a theme for many of his psalms. We presume he's had a good night's sleep. We heard that yesterday, that he knows that he's safe in the refuge of his God. But as he is awake, as he wakes up, he's aware of his enemies. He's aware that there are many using false words filled with malice who are trying to trap him and ruin him. So what does he do? Well, he starts his day with prayer. He meticulously lays his request for help before his God. He approaches the Lord as the true trustworthy king and appeals for his help and for his justice. Just as people in his kingdom would approach David as their king in the hope of help and justice, so David looks to his king and approaches his him expecting that kind of help. But not only does David lay his request before the king, but then he waits expectantly. David's prayers aren't empty hopes that God is listening. His prayers aren't just whinges getting things off his chest. He believes and trusts that the Lord God cares for him and that the Lord God will answer him. There is a real careful, thoughtful, ordered approach to prayer here in this psalm. It's not gabbled, how thought through. It's not kind of rushed and then moving on with the rest of his day. It's a prayer that has shape and form, deliberate prayer. A prayer in which David is taking his time, laying his requests before the Lord God and then waiting, expecting for God to answer. So what shape does our prayer life take? And how would our lives change? How would our lives change if we started and ended our day in thoughtful prayer in the way David seems to suggest? 
How would our life change if we came to God with our requests? And then in the words of David, we waited expectantly for his answer. We have a king in heaven who longs to listen to our words and our cries. But let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them ever sing for joy. Spread your protection over them. And those who love your name may rejoice in you, says David. Let's be still. Let's come to him in prayer. Father God, may we be people who take prayer seriously, who see it as an act of faith, who spend time at the beginning, at the end of the day, at other times, bringing you crafted prayers, bringing you what's on our hearts, giving space for you to speak back to us, expecting you to answer our prayers, praying them in faith and in trust. Teach us how to pray. Help us pray with expectancy and hope and trust. And may prayer bring us answers and may prayer bring us peace. And may prayer echo your heart. We ask this in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Father, for these rich psalms and prayers given to us, gifted to us. May we find them helpful. May we find that they revitalise our faith and our hope and our prayer. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. May God bless us at this time. No stands in the way Pay.